let's get back to our unit circle to understand how the trigonometric functions changes with changing theta. Using this, we shall plot the graphs of trigonometric functions. In this figure, we know that sin theta is nothing but the y coordinate of the point P. So let's plot the value of theta on x axis and the value of sin theta on y axis. When theta is 0, y coordinate of P is 0 and so sin theta is 0. As theta increases, sin theta also increases and at theta equal to pi by 2, it reaches 1. After that, the value of sin theta starts to decrease and at theta equal to pi, sin theta becomes 0 again. As we move to the third quadrant, sin theta becomes negative and at theta equal to 3 pi by 2, sin theta is minus 1. And in the fourth quadrant, theta becomes lesser and lesser negative and full rotation when theta equals to 2 pi, sin theta is again 0. If we further increase theta, the same values of sin theta starts appearing up to the next complete rotation, 4 pi. This continues and we can extend the graph all over x-axis by repeating the same pattern. In the unit circle, we know that cos theta is nothing but the x-coordinate of the point B. It starts at 1 when theta is equal to 0, decreases to 0 at theta is equal to pi by 2. As theta increases, it becomes negative and at theta equal to pi, it's minus 1. As theta increases to 3 pi by 2, cos theta becomes 0 again. And at full rotation, cos theta is 1. This graph will extend by repeating patterns for all values of theta. Looking at the graphs of sin x and cos x, we can say that the functions y is equal to sin x and y is equal to cos x has the following characteristics. The domain of each function is all real numbers. This means sin x and cos x are defined for real values of x. Number two, the range of each function is the closed interval minus one plus one. That is, both sin x and cos x have a maximum value of plus 1 and a minimum value of minus 1. Number 3. Each function is periodic, which means that its graph has a repeating pattern that continues indefinitely. The period of sin x and cos x is 2 pi, so they repeat after every 2 pi values of x. Number 4. The maximum value of y is equal to sin x, that is 1, occurs when x is equal to pi by 2 plus 2 and pi where n is any integer. The maximum value of y is equal to cos x occurs when x is equal to 2n pi. Again, n is an integer. Point 5. The minimum value of y equal to sin x, that's minus 1, occurs when x is equal to 2n pi plus 3 pi by 2. The minimum value of y is equal to cos x, that's again minus 1, occurs when x is equal to 2n plus 1 pi. All these cases, n is an integer. Point 6. Sin x is 0 when x is equal to n pi. Cos x is 0 when x is equal to 2n plus 1 pi by 2. 